Okay, I'm gonna record this just for my own use. Nothing too exciting here. Well, I was a little excited. I got a major problem on the 81. He's broke down in the driveway. I'll show you what it does. You should even do that. Sounds like a bad battery connection, right? But no, it's way more than that. I got a, a socket down on the crank pulley last night and I was able to turn it a bit forward, backward by hand. And uh, there's a really strange noise coming from the starter area. Plus, at some point, I was able to get the starter to engage. And it would just ever so weakly try to turn the engine, kind of a grinding, grating sound. And something seriously wrecked in that starter. And I really don't want to have to lay on the ground again like I did back in April. I think I did a video of that too, or not. But anyway... Uh, I gotta try and figure some way to push it back into the shed because there's major rain coming. Yeah, great timing. Unload the junk in the box. Uh, possibly, hopefully, push it into the shed here with the John Deere. Start the water truck, which should be no problem. Drive it out. Get the blazer out, and way back in there is the old 71 C10. I think I'm going to revert to that to try and get me through spraying, assuming it's still working, because in the time it takes to diagnose and probably get a new starter and then install, I have no idea. And I got canola needs to be sprayed yesterday. So, uh, anyway, I got work to do. Okay, step one, in the park. Okay, here I am in one of my favorite spots, sarcasm intended. That's the starter on the old 403. As far as I can see, everything's normal on the outside. The bolts are super tight. I didn't try too hard to move them, but uh, everything looks just fine. So I'm thinking the trouble is inside. Starter drive, probably get jammed up against the ring gear, flex plate, and uh, destruction ensued. So, oh, what a place to work. As thin as I am, I can still barely fit underneath this thing without jacking it up, so. I'll leave that for another day. Anyway, I am out of here. Okay. <clears throat> the continuing saga of the Oldsmobile starter on the 81 GMC. Ah, this video is going to be pretty rough because I'm laying here under the vehicle, looking over my glasses, trying to focus on what's going on here. I've got the uh, plastic cover off. It's laying here beside me. I can't reach it to show you, but... There's nothing out of the ordinary in there, no metal filings or anything that indicates a problem. The ring gear, I've turned it partially around. I haven't done the whole circle yet, but uh, all the teeth look fine. I haven't been able to get my head up high enough to see into the starter to see if the starter gear itself, but uh, it turns over, so obviously nothing's jammed up yet. Uh, well, I'll have to crawl out of here to try the starter, but I'm almost sure it's just going to click. <sighs> I've got a new starter. Actually, not too far away from here, so... This is the easy part. After this... You gotta... It, yeah, just two bolts. Looks easy, doesn't it? undo these and then you got to support the weight of that starter because it's going to be hanging the entire harness of wiring from the solenoid which you can't see back up in there 
uh, there's no easy way to undo that from the top side. You can't hardly see it, let alone get a wrench in there. So it's got to hang down, undo the wiring, uh, replace the starter, and bolt it back in place again. Sounds easy, but uh, it wasn't easy, even when I had two good working hands. And now with this weak middle finger, I can't lift or twist things like I used to. So it could be interesting, but uh, to be continued. You saw how the starter looked completely normal down there. So I'm just going to try the key and see what it does. So listen carefully. What? Wow, it works. Okay, that puts a whole new light on things. Anybody not familiar with this truck might not have noticed. When I released the key and the starter stopped turning, there was a little sound of something kind of dragging or grinding. And that was very similar to what happened the last starter that failed on here some years ago. Somehow the starter self-energizes and keeps turning even after you release the key. In that case, it was a scary situation. I had to quickly rush out and disconnect the battery at the, the cable on the battery. Otherwise, there was no way to stop it. It would have kept on grinding away until, well, I don't know. Something would have started on fire. The battery ran down. I don't know, but I'm going to dare to try it again. So listen closely. Oh yeah, now it's just grinding, hardly turning. So how is that? 